Good morning everyone. All right, so uh, Today we are gonna be doing some small game again. It's gonna be like a small game slash scouting scouting for uh, a deer spot um, the, the spot that we are at right now is it's actually where uh, My son and I we both got attacked by bees. I the last time I was here was on opening day for small game um, I did manage to scratch out a limit which did take all day though, but then uh on that day, I had my nephew and my uh, brother and brother in law with me. So it was kind of crowded and um, they were all following me. So it made it kind of hard to shoot because I was trying to get my nephew on some squirrels too. So it um, took longer to get a limit on that day. But, anyways, so for today, um, it's pretty windy still, kind of like considering that uh, it's a lot less windy than um, how it was earlier in the week. Um, I hope that I do manage to find some squirrels. Um, as you guys can see behind me, a lot of uh, the leaves have dropped. So um, that means that that could be a good thing and a bad thing because uh, the good thing is leaves make a lot of noise when squirrels are running through them. But on the downside, that means the trees are bare and that means they can see me a lot better. So um, I don't expect too much. But again, like I said, this is more gonna be like a, for a uh, scouting for deer kind of type scenario. I have a few trees that I have marked in the past. So chances are I'm just gonna go check them out. They're big, very old mature oak trees that had like uh, deer foraging uh, the leaves around at the, at the bases of them. So those are our main goals is to hop at those different areas and uh, maybe there'll be squirrels below them. If not, I'm just gonna see if uh, the deer activity is picking up. It should be getting close to pre-rut right now, if not rut. But uh, I haven't seen much deer activity. So, yep, that's the main goal for today, guys. Um, let's see if we manage to get anything while we're going at it. All right, see you guys in a bit. So there's actually a deer trail that runs pretty thick right here. We passed my tree stand. No, the tree was my tree stand back there. Let's go around this way. It ran this way. But I don't know where it ran to. Maybe anywhere. I was too focused on looking at my tree that I completely ignored taking my time for squirrels. He ran this way. That means he's gotta be in one of these trees. All right guys, uh, there's only like these aspens around. So squirrels, they don't really like climbing aspens unless they really, really need to. This guy ran from a very far distance. Chances are he might've ran to this thicket. Um, I noticed that on this particular um, plot of public land, the deer, um, not the deer, the squirrel here are very smart. They like to take advantage of the, this thicket, this young growth. They will run on the bottom of this stuff just to get away compared to like uh, other forests where they would just tree up, tree up right away. So I don't think this guy is up in a tree. I feel like he ran into the thicket. But uh, you know what? Who knows, you know? So I'm gonna back off and I'm gonna actually kinda take my sweet time and just kinda ponder around the base of this, this the thick end the other side. Not this stuff, this stuff is too dense. But like the, the more clear stuff. And then I'm just gonna see if uh, I can manage to see a squirrel that's actually tra traveling within that. Uh, I will keep you guys posted if I do see anything. First squirrel, got away been a while right all right I'll catch you guys in a bit look at that guys deer scrape and just over here too there's another one right there there's more guys more spots look at all that deer activity only, only maybe 
30 yards from the last scrape. It's starting, guys. More and more activity. Oh man, I just spooked a woodcock. Oh man, it scared the crap out of me. He was sitting right here. Right here. Didn't even move until I until I got up up to it. Oh that's got me itching so bad to go up upland. Again, guys, they are in the thicket. I just saw two take off in here. Anyways, battery keeps dying on me. It's so dang cold. Just one of them took off. Yeah, he's gone. There's two of them. That one was so friendly. Like he saw me, he did not even care. He was so comfortable inside of here that he did not even care. Like he could easily escape. Yeah, these squirrels, man. This is how I is. This is how it is with this place, this particular spot. They will hide in this thicket. That guy saw me. He didn't even care. He just kept feeding, eating along until I started shooting at him. Even that first shot, he didn't even take off. He just jumped and he just sat there again. I just saw a squirrel. I have this spot marked for big oak trees. And I just saw a squirrel. Easy. 
Hopefully he didn't run behind the tree. Okay. Yes, two. Yes, two. Alright guys, I am not gonna lie, today is quite the grind. Um, you saw me lose three earlier. They're all due to uh, me being in the thicket and not being able to get to them and not getting a nice clear shot. But uh, I did manage to get this guy. It's a smaller guy, a young one. But uh, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take anything on this here right now. Been grinding pretty hard. Uh, checking my spots out. Overall, it's not the greatest of days, okay? You guys see me always skipping my limits, but uh, I do have my bad days too. This spot, this, this area that I'm at actually produces pretty good, but I don't know what it is. I think it might be like the wind. The wind honestly i feel like it's the wind because I, I i'm losing my sense of vision because the leaves are constantly moving and i'm losing my sense of hearing because you can't hear anything but the wind and the leaves so it's, it's a little more challenging but uh i think i'm going to give it a few days let the wind die down and then i'll come back out here and then uh that way i can hear them way better and that way i could tell whether or not they're really hard squirrels around the area um obviously they're not responding to the calling i don't know because the wind's too loud or they're just spooked because it is like this is in the later months of uh squirrel hunting so they uh the babies are grown up they don't call as much no more the moms kind of give up the kids already and yeah that's how it is calling doesn't work as great later in the season they're also pretty spooked from hearing so much so we are gonna stick it out a little little longer because I gotta hike all the way back to a car and that's gonna be like a good 30 minutes probably. So we will see. I'm probably just gonna sit here and stick it out in this area and see if anything pops out. And then uh, once I don't see anything, I'm just gonna head out back to the main trail and work my way back to your car. All right, see you guys in a bit. I see one. I just sat here for a while. And I just called just now and he jumped from this tree to this tree. Now we gotta find him. And that's gonna be a fun part. The thing I don't like is sometimes these old trees have holes in them. That might, might be a hole right there. Now I gotta get out there and look, see through the hole in that tree hope not yeah I'm not seeing hole but he's still up there somewhere there's a bigger tree so those branches he could be sitting right on top of those branches and I won't see him okay I see him I think yep yeah I see him I see his bushy tail you guys can't see him. I'm just gonna shoot him for you guys. But I gotta position myself. A better spot. Right here. Ooh. Here he comes. I 
I accidentally shot him in the hand and he was changing position. Where is he? Okay, he's in this tree somewhere. Oh, I hope he's not in the hole. I really hope he's not in the hole. There's a hole in that tree, guys. Oh my gosh. I just saw him stick his head out of the hole. Oh, he's doing it again. Yeah, his head is like barely out. He's just waiting. I'm not gonna shoot him until he comes completely out of it. And I don't know when that is. I don't know if he sees me. I was kinda using my phone when he first came out. So he might have saw me. All right, guys, uh, recap of uh, today, I guess. Um, clearly, I spent hours out there. I was probably out there for a good four or five hours, and uh, I struggled when it came to 
getting squirrels. You guys saw me get the one little small guy and then um, also attempt to get that uh, the second guy. So what happened with that second guy was um, when I first shot at him, clearly I missed. And then when I laid that second shot, he flipped over. And when he flipped, I nailed him right in the hand. So then he couldn't grip, so that's why he fell and he took off running. He knew exactly where he was gonna go. Like I told you guys before, those big oak trees tend to have holes in them. And that's where he went. He went straight to the oak tree that had a hole in it, kept himself inside there. I sat there for a good 20 to 25 minutes, probably even close to 30. And then finally he gave me a shot, but um, I didn't remove the branch that was in my way and that cost me. I shot a branch that was probably three quarters of an inch uh, thickness and I shot it right dead center and then uh, it must have deflected the bullet and I missed him. Um, after he, uh, he came down, I chased him and you guys saw him. I, he just quickly ran back up to the tree and then I aimed right where the hole was and right when I saw him split second, I fired right, right when I thought he was gonna get into a hole and he managed to escape me. Um, I, again, I tried to sit there for another 15, 20 minutes but I knew that guy was gonna be in there at least into the evening, uh, if not until the next day. So um, it is what it is. I tried my best to get that squirrel out and now there's gonna be a handicap one out there. Um, within a few days, maybe I'll go back to the same spot and I'll just wait it out, see if I can still see him or not. If not, hopefully he survives over winter, I guess. All right, guys, um, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Till next time, peace.